Why do spark plugs have ridges? Well, first, I've got two installation tips that are going to help you install a spark plug efficiently and without a comeback. For the first tip, we're going to talk about torque. On some modern engines with aluminum heads and some of the smaller diameter plugs, the torque spec for the plug may be as little as 12 to 14 foot-pounds. There's no way you're going to guess that with your calibrated elbow. You're going to need a torque wrench. These low torque specs are because of the head material and also the diameter of the spark plug. The smaller the spark plug, the less torque it needs. The bigger the spark plug, well, it's going to need a lot more torque, either between 25 and 35 foot-pounds. But check with the plug manufacturer and also in the service information for the correct torque spec. Do you know what's missing here? Anti-seize. You should never ever use anti-seize on a modern spark plug. These spark plugs with this chromium tight finish, they're already treated with a plating that prevents corrosion inside the head and the plug. This does not need anti-seize, but older type plugs that have a black oxide finish, these may require anti-seize and you should put a very light coating and not really put too much on and just cover the threads that are exposed inside the head. Why do spark plugs have ridges on the insulator? Is it for A, cooling, B, to hold the boot on, or C, none of the above? If you answer C, you are right, because actually these ridges are designed to prevent flashover. On older engines where the spark plug was exposed to the outside, well, this was a big issue because the area of the boot and the plug, well, you'd get a lot of debris in there. And this might cause a misfire or a flashover where the spark is going to ground outside of the spark plug and outside of the combustion chamber. The ridges are designed to prevent misfires due to dirt and debris building up on the insulator of the plug and also inside the boot. The thing to remember about a spark plug, well, it's static electricity charged. So things want to stick to it when it's firing. Over time, dirt and debris can build up on the insulator of the spark plug. These ridges kind of create a barrier or let's say a trench. So the debris can build up, but it cannot connect throughout the entire length of the insulator of the plug. And that's why we have ridges on spark plugs. So just to wrap things up, Make sure you're using a torque wrench, you're not using ANACs, and remember the ridges are there for a purpose. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.